Hello and welcome to this video on straight lines and their equations where we look at the relationship between a line drawn, a straight line drawn and its equation. Now let's look at this example here. Um, I've written the equation x plus y equals 4 and somehow this corresponds to this line here. Well what does this equation mean? Well basically we can see this as a membership rule. And if a particular point, say like 3, 0, or 1, 3, etc., if a particular point wants to belong to this line, it has to obey this particular membership rule. So let's consider a few points and let's see whether it can join the club because it obeys this membership rule. So let's take the point, say, 3, 1. Now remember that the first value is the x value and the second value is the y value. So does it obey this rule? We require that the x value plus the y value is 4. Well, the x value is 3 plus the y value is 1, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Yes, it does obey the rule, and that means the point 3, 1 will be on the line. Indeed, if we look at this, we can see 3, 1 is roughly there, and you can see that is indeed on the line. Let's take another point. Let's take 2, 0. Well, the x value is 2 plus the y value 0, 2 plus 0 is 2, is 2 equal to 4? No, it's not. So it's not on the line. And as you can see, the point 2, 0 is here. And you can see, indeed, that's not on the line. We might have a negative value involved. If we had, say, 5 and minus 1, does that obey the membership rule? The x value of 5 plus minus 1, 5 plus negative 1 is 4. Yes, it does obey the membership rule. And in fact, I'm going to have to extend this line a bit because 5 minus 1 is about here and it will be on the line. And that's basically it. If the coordinates of a point obeys this membership rule, then it's on the line. Otherwise, it's not going to be on the line. And this is true of all lines that you could draw, not just straight lines. It applies for all graphs that you can draw. Now, I've got a few questions to do with this line here. A line has the equation y equals to 2x plus 3. Now, I'll do a very quick approximate sketch just to give you an idea of what's happening here. Now, our line roughly looks like this, but I'm not going to put any points on the axis or anything like that. And we want to answer these questions here. So the first one is, if the x value of a point on the line is 4, what is the y value? Well, we saw with here that if the point obeys equation, then we can substitute these values into the equation. So it says the x value is 4. So we can say that y is equal to 2 times, well, the x value is 4, so 2 times 4 plus 3. And 2 times 4 plus 3 is 8 plus 3, which is equal to 11. So that means when x is 4, the y value would be 11. And we could put 4, 11 somewhere on this graph. So it might be up here, for example. And then the second question, if the y value of another point is 13, what is the x value? So we've got y equals 2x plus 3. And again, if a point is on the line, then we can substitute these values into the equation. So the y value is 13, so we can make the y value 13 this time. 13 is equal to 2x plus 3. And then we've got to work out what the x value would be. So if we subtract 3 from both sides, we get 10 equal to 2x. And then x has been multiplied by 2, so we divide by 2 to get rid of that times by 2, and we get 5 is equal to x. So that means the point where x is 5 and y we said was 13 will be on here. So I can draw this on here again. 5, 13 will be somewhere like here. Yep. Right, now we've got c. So it says that k1 lies on the line we want to determine k. Now this point... If this point lies on this line with this equation, then it must satisfy this equation. That's what we saw earlier. So we're going to sub those in. So the y value is 1. So 1 is equal to 2 times x. So 2 times k. We get 2k. And then plus 3. So all we've done is we've substituted those values, x is k and y is 1, into this equation here. And then we just need to solve it. So x has been multiplied by 2, then you're adding 3. So you subtract 3 from both sides to get rid of the plus 3. So we get minus 2 is equal to 2k. And then k has been multiplied by 2. So we divide both sides by 2 to get rid of the times by 2. And that means minus 1 is equal to k. So we've worked out that k is minus 1. So minus 1, 1 would be on the line. And minus 1, 1 could be here, for example, minus 1, 1. Right, D. 
does the point 1, 6 lie on the line? Now, if it does lie on the line with this equation, it's got to satisfy the equation. So we've got y equals 2x plus 3, and we've got the point 1, 6. Does that lie on this line with this equation? Well, if we sub those values in, the y value is 6, so 6 is equal to 2 times x, 2 times 1, which is 2, plus 3. That gives us 6 equals 5, which is not true, and therefore it's not on the line. It doesn't obey this rule. This point doesn't obey this equation, the membership rule, so that point can't be on the line. Not on the line. Now, there's two important applications of this kind of theory where we have a membership rule. And one is that we can sketch straight lines, and we'll do that in the next video. But the other is that we can find the, what's known as the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So this point here, where the line cuts the x-axis, we call that the x-intercept. And where this line cuts the y-axis, that is known as the y-intercept. Now, what can you say about the x-intercept, about the values? We obviously know it's a 0 0.40, but had I not given you these values on the axes, what do we know about that coordinate? Well, we know that the y value is 0. When you're on the x-axis, the y value is 0. And then if we know the y value is 0, to find the x-intercept, we can just make y is equal to 0, and that gives us, if we substitute that into this equation, we get x, which we don't know, plus the y value of 0 is equal to 4, and that means, well, that x is equal to 4. And indeed, we can see it is. The x value is indeed 4, and we know, therefore, the coordinate would be 4, 0. What if we did the same here? If we wanted to find the y-intercept, what do we know about the coordinate here? If we hadn't had these numbers on the axis, we still know that the x value here must be 0. When you're on the y-axis, the x value is 0, so, if we make x equal to 0 to find the y-intercept, then that gives us, if we sub that into this equation, 0 plus y is equal to 4, and 0 plus y is y, so that gives us y is equal to 4. Now, going back to this question where the equation was y equals 2x plus 3, we want to determine the coordinates of the y-intercept and the x-intercept. So, if we first want to find the y-intercept, do you remember that's where we make x equal to 0. If we want to find the y-intercept, we make x 0. If we want to find the x-intercept, we make y 0. So when we have x equals 0, we substitute that into this equation. So y is going to be equal to 2 times 0, which is 0, plus 3, which is equal to 3. So when the x value is 0, the y value is 3, and that gives us the coordinate 0, 3. Now, slightly hard is finding the x-intercept, but when we want to find the x-intercept where the line cuts the x-axis, we make y equal to 0. So we make y equal to 0, and we substitute that into this equation. 0, y 0, equals 2x plus 3, and then we just need to solve that. So x is being multiplied by 2, then you're adding 3. So we want to get rid of the plus 3 first by subtracting 3 from both sides. And then 0 minus 3 is minus 3. We've got 2x, and we subtracted 3 to get rid of the plus 3. And then x has been multiplied by 2, so to get rid of the times by 2, we divide by 2. And then that gives us minus 1.5, or minus 3 over 2, equals 2x divided by 2 is x. And that means, well, x is minus 1.5, and the y value we said was 0, and that gives us the coordinate of the x-intercept. Now, as a final test your understanding question, I want you to work on this. We've got 2x plus y is equal to 5, and I want you to find if the x value of a point on that particular line is 2, what would the y value have to be? If the point with coordinate 3k lies on the line, I want you to find what k would have to be, and I want you to find the coordinate of the y-intercept and the coordinate of the x-intercept. So you may want to pause the video now to have a quick go at that. All right, let's do it. So let's do A. If the x value is equal to 2, now the points on this line, it has to satisfy this equation, so we just substitute it in. So we've got 2 times x, 2 times 2 is 4, plus the y value, which we don't know, is equal to 5. 4 plus what is 5? Well, it's 1, so the y value would have to be 1, and that's it. What about b? Now, 3k is a point on this line with this equation, so if it obeys this membership rule, it means we can substitute these values in. So... The x value is 3, so we've got 2 times 3, which is 6, plus y, and y value is k, 
equal to 5. Now, if we just subtract 6 from both sides, we get k is equal to minus 1, and that would be the solution. And then finally, we want to find the coordinate of the x-intercept and the y-intercept of this line. So the y-intercept first. Do you remember when we want the y-intercept, we make x 0. So if x is 0, then we have 2 times 0, which is 0, plus y is equal to 5. And that means that y is equal to 5. So it gives us the point with coordinate 0, 5. x is 0, y is 5. What about the second part? We want to find the x-intercept. So that's where y is 0. So if we make y 0, we get 2x, which we don't know. So 2x plus y, and the y we know is 0, so it's just plus 0, is 5. Now if we divide both sides by 2, that gives us x is 2.5, and that means the coordinate is 2.5. Zero, and that is the final answer. Well done if you got those right.